Um, well, last year, you know, I was a hard worker. I was a sales manager at Target Mobile. That's a thing where you sell phones. So I was pretty good at it. And then I was offered this other job position, which I didn't get. And after that, I found out I was pregnant. Major surprise for me, but yeah, I was pregnant. I lost my baby. In losing my baby, there was a whole drama with the guy that got me pregnant. And, you know, I allowed him to steal my powers, so that broke me down. And then I was in a place of not having a job and trying to find a job, but still in a bit of a depression from having the miscarriage and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, I basically hadn't been working since probably May of last year. I was like, you know what? I'm homeless. I've been homeless for a while. I need to get this together. It's 2014. I can't keep going on like this. So I came here and it didn't look like anything I thought it would be. It didn't look like people were doing drugs. It wasn't a whole bunch of beds just in a regular room. It was just, there was the dorms and it was clean and they fed you and there were kind people. And once I made it through that first night, I knew I'd be okay. It just made me feel like I was safe. You know, every little thing a person does helps. You learn that here, you know. Whether it's let somebody borrow a shirt or give somebody some food or just a little bit of change, it helps. And a lot of people don't realize that, you know. Been an architect for uh, 15 years. I uh, graduated from Oklahoma in 97. I've been in Texas ever since. And uh, as an architect, I specialized in retail and restaurants. Well, it started in uh, 2006 when the economy uh, went down. Uh, of course, restaurants and retail were the hardest hit part of the economy. And so I got laid off as a corporate architect. I had, I had no money to fall back on. Um, of course, I'd gone through all my 401k and, and, you know, money was tight. And I really had no place to go. I spent a couple nights in a park and uh, very scary nights. And then uh, it got real cold and I actually called 911. And just by the grace of God, the, the lady said, uh, you know, look over to your left. And it was Arlington Shelter. This, this place is 180 degrees from any other shelter that you would find. Um, it's, very well, it's very well maintained. They provide all the clothes and, and, and food for everybody. Last year, I put out 1,800 resumes and I had two interviews. And I've only been here, you know, a little over a month and I've already had three interviews and actually uh, accepted a position. So um, they definitely gave me the resources and the, um, the self-esteem I needed. You know, being the head of your household, being the provider for your family and for you to lose your job and it's to the point where you can't provide for your family, that's a hurting feeling, you know. To hear your oldest child tell you, Daddy, I don't want to leave when we don't have a choice, like it was a hurtful feeling. It was just a day-to-day -day life for us and having a lot of people, um, especially family, tell us that um, we couldn't do this, we couldn't do that, we weren't gonna make it, that we didn't love our kids because of the situation we were in, and it just made it even harder. Because we tried it for so long on our own without help, and it just didn't work. But coming to the life shelter, not only they provided us with shelter, they provided us with assistance and resources to help us get up on our feet, that's why I would refer any family to the Arlington Life Shelter. They have so many resources here to help you finding jobs, you know, anything for the children, even down to housing. We appreciate the volunteers because um, if it wasn't for them, it, like the churches who come and, you know, feed us, and because I, I believe that's the food that they buy and they come feed us, so if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't have anything to eat. This place is ran off of the donation, so if it wasn't for the money that people donate or the items that they donate, this, you know, this place wouldn't be here for families like us, and it, it, it means a lot to us. It's a really big blessing for a family like ours. They give me a peace of mind, because I know when I wake up, I don't have to depend on anybody else to get me anywhere. I thank God for the resources they have at the Arlington Life Shelter. You know, I, I've told the staff here many times that um, after I finish the program, I'd love to come back and volunteer. 